Greetings hobbies, this is our Sands of Vool, and in this video we're going to have a look at some of the fantastic features that come with Lychee Slicer. So was this a bit of a clickbaity title? Maybe, but I do honestly believe it, and I have liked Lychee Slicer for a while, so I should probably be clear and upfront with that slight bias, I do use this, but I'm not in any way affiliated with them, and I do pay for the pro version, because Lychee's awesome and pay those people for the time that they're putting into this. So I'm just starting with this model. It is of an armoured sponson that's available on my CG Trader page. There's a link shown at the bottom of the video for all of that. And we want to set up some supports. And I've angled this in a sensible way and I've added in the supports using the automatic support tool. So let's have a look at the inline support tool first because this is most relevant to this situation. Now this is only available on the pro version so you do need to pay for this. The free version has a lot of tools but not all of them and this is relatively easy to use. All you do is you go into the prepare setting, come down to inline supports and make sure it is clicked on. That won't automatically be on and then you can change the interval to whatever you want. So let's say two millimeters. Then you just click. Once you've clicked, then you press shift and that will add in these dots showing how far apart all the supports are, which is really clear and easy to see. And then click where you want that to finish. And it will put in all the supports on that perfectly straight line. So good for saving you a load of time and getting those supports perfectly straight and accurate. And you can see just how quick that is if I do that again. Now, I would really like them to take a leaf out of Blender's book. It would be great if once you press shift, you could do something like scroll the mouse wheel up and down and that would change the interval between the supports. If they added this in, then I think that would go from being absolutely amazing to pretty much perfect. Next, let's have a look at the support painting feature. Now, I actually think this is most useful if you've got something like a tablet, but you could use it with a mouse. Now, let's first have a look at the pressure settings because we've got a tablet or I'm using a tablet and we're gonna put that on the interval setting. The other thing I'm gonna do is turn the avoid supports off, which is actually a really useful feature because it means you don't put too many supports near each other. But for this, we just want to demonstrate what it does. And then to use this, you hold down shift and then click and then keep your mouse button or your pen pushed down. So that is shift button, then click as opposed to the inline supports, which is click and then shift button. And then using our tablet and pen, if we push down further, you can see that yellow circle got a bit bigger. And that means that our supports are now going to be further apart, which is a nice quick way of doing it if you want more supports nearer the base plate, but less supports further away without having to go in and change those settings. Then if we change our pressure setting to the present setting, this will do much the same thing, except this time as you push down with your pen, when you push harder, these supports are going to change from whatever setting you've got, for example this one's medium, to then go on to be something like the heavy support, so they'll get one stage larger. Again, useful if you're getting close to the build plate or you just want to put down one larger support. Now the next tool that I want to talk about is the planar cut feature and in a way this almost has no place being in a slicing program as far as I'm concerned. It really doesn't need to be there. This is for slicing, we're going to cut apart models in other programs. Yet they seem to have managed to do this better than any other program that I can think of. So it really does put those other programs to shame and I hope they learn from this because this is absolutely brilliant. So I've got this model here which is a power armoured arm and pistol. This is available on my Colts page as well. I will say that this actually does come with the hand and arm separated so you can do that or they come as a single piece as well But as with many other similar models, let's just say it doesn't and look at how we'd want to cut this apart So I've got Microsoft 3d builder here and this has a planar cut feature as well It's perfectly easy to use you can just rotate it around set it in the location where you want and then you just need to Set it to slice either so you delete one of the sides or you can keep both sides as I'm doing here but as this cuts through the entirety of the model that's on that plane, when we start splitting it apart, we notice very quickly that we have an issue and we've cut across the back of this bolt gun because that's where we wanted to cut the hand. So back to where I was working on this in Lychee and if we come down here to the utility tools and select plane of cut, we get this warning and then we just come into a very simple interface where we can just rotate this around. I would say I'd quite like this to actually be able to say the angle that you're rotating it to as some of the other features on Lychee do. That would be a really nice addition. And then we can just move this around to exactly the place that we want to cut. Now here's where things get interesting because we'd expect this to cut through the whole model. And we can see this here, it's quite nicely shown. But 
when we come and click this button, you suddenly get the option to deselect some of the pieces that are going to be cut. And then this does this funky cut. I will say this does sometimes cause some slight errors on the parts, which is sort of interesting because this was one solid object. So it's worth noting that down as something to watch out for. But you'll see how easily this cuts it apart. And fantastically, if you do this after you've added in the supports, Lanchi does actually work out which parts they're connected to and will separate those with it, as you can see here. So some really innovative work from Lychee Slicer there and some features that I hope you'll enjoy using. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Please do give it a like and a comment. And if you're not subscribed, do subscribe to the channel for more great content. Have a great day, guys.